Everything I've done in my life, I've done for my children. My old man pushes me around. I never did anything! I know I've made mistakes, but I've always tried to do the best by them because I love them. He's not the problem, I'm the problem. Have you thought about the possibility that your children are actually scared of you? Oh, fuck off. I gotta take a stand against him. We have a major problem. He's erratic, he's making bad decisions. If he's not careful, he's gonna destroy the company. And what, you gonna do something? I think I'm the best option. Oh, right, because you like playing boss? I am not gonna sit on my ass. As the events that affect me unfold to determine the course of my life, I'm gonna take a stand. This is our vision. I take over. You two under me. Under you. Can we think about it? Yeah, of course. I thought about it. Fuck you. I'm so sick of his shit. I can't stand when I kill this goddamn car. Who do you love? Who do you love? This family's broken. And that has consequences. Kick out the old man and with the new guard. Where have you been? I was meeting about a prospective job. With your father's enemy? Disagreeing with dad is not treason. You want this enough to go to war with your family. <laughs> Dented the shit out of it. <laughs> Good. My father will come home, he see what I did. I can't hide this. It's rebellion. Sabotage. Deliberate attempt to undermine my whole business. That's the death pit. Take a look. I feel like I might not like it in the death pit. Stock's gone below 130. We could death spiral here. Who's in charge right now? I'm just tired of being afraid. It's my company. You are a fucking nobody. I can't wait to see the look on the bastard's face. <laughs> We have learned the identity of the driver whose out-of-control pickup truck hit several cars and ended up inside a popular Hollywood pizzeria. Alan Ruck of Succession and Ferris Bueller fame was reportedly behind the wheel. This video is made possible thanks to the generous support of TrueLove.com members. If you like this content and would like to show your support, visit TrueLove.com slash membership to become a member where you'll be able to access additional content, interact with other members through the TrueLove.com app. You are free to cancel anytime. On October 31st at 8.57 p.m., Alan Ruck's truck careened out of control at an intersection in Hollywood, slamming into a pizza parlor. This event is significant because it perfectly demonstrates the Kundalini connection and the successive takeover of the child from control of the father, Saturn. Alan Ruck played Cameron Fry in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and he now appears in HBO's Succession playing the same role, the role of the suppressed child who rises up against his father. In Ferris Bueller, he's also shown wearing a t-shirt with the caduceus on it. He also wears the Red Wings jersey. Red Wing is communism or the right hemisphere of the brain. Cameron means crooked nose, but also it means one eye and fry means to electrocute. Allen means key with a hexagonal head. The hexagon is the cube, so the Allen key unlocks the cube of Saturn. It also means stone, as in the stone the builders rejected. Ruck means back, as in rucksack, but it also means one who is struck by lightning. Alan Ruck is the middle pillar. This is why he plays the third wheel between the male and the female, Ferris and Sloan. This event also happened Halloween night, the night that the veil is allegedly the thinnest. Alan is at an intersection, which is the TNT, the Tina Turner or the gap between worlds. His truck suddenly shoots forward, colliding with three other cars. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Those were the words of actor Alan Ruck, according to witnesses, right after his Rivian electric pickup truck. The name of his truck is Rivian. Rivian is connected to river, the cerebrospinal fluid, but also it means Iustus or just, which is Jesus. This is the vehicle that carries the kundalini energy to the head, just as I showed in my video, Get Into My Car. 
The fact that it's electric is significant because he's representing the transporting of the electrical energy to connect with the head, which creates the hole in the wall. Suddenly accelerated while stopped at a red light crossing this intersection and finally slamming into this Italian restaurant, as you can see, plowing right through that wall. The women's restroom is on the other side of that wall. However, no one was there at the time. The woman's restroom is on the other side of the wall. This is the fornix where you find the divine feminine. But he says no one was there at the time, so perhaps the Kundalini connection was not made. It was a wild crash Halloween night in the heart of Hollywood. It happened in the heart of Hollywood. Hollywood is where all the magic happens, which is in the head. So it's the heart and the head. Caught from various angles and various cameras. This is the intersection of La Brea and Hollywood Boulevard just before 9 p.m. Look closely. A pickup truck stopped behind another car at a red light as people pass through the crosswalk, suddenly lunges forward, slams into one car, then another, and finally plows into the side of a building, specifically Raffalo's Italian restaurant on the corner of a strip mall. There is no meaning for Raffaello, but Raffaello is God has healed, referring to expelling demons from the seven chakras. So it's cleansing your soul. TMZ is reporting and witnesses tell KTLA that driver was actor Alan Ruck. Notice he stops right in the middle of the three panes of glass because he is the middle pillar. Emmy-nominated star of HBO's family empire drama Succession and also the 1980s comedy classic Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The media makes these connections to these films on purpose so that you yourself can see how they are connected to this event. He'll keep calling me until I come over. He'll make me feel guilty. KTLA cameras captured Ruck at the scene and now we are learning what he was saying. Tim Ratcliffe owns a couple of restaurants next to Raffalo's Pizza Place and was one of the first Good Samaritans to race to the scene to help those involved. The whole building shook and I thought a bomb or something, something exploded is really what I thought. He references a bomb exploding and the building shaking. This is a reference to the atomic explosion in the head. Uh, the guy's name was Alan that was in the vehicle and he... Uh, first, immediately when I was over there trying to open the door, it wouldn't open. His name is Alan, which means key, and yet the door wouldn't open. Also, on the building, it says, we deliver. To deliver is to deliver from temptation of the 3D, which is to deliver into heaven. And so I was just, I was checking in with him and asked him, are you okay? The woman outside is Snow White. She is the divine feminine, the light within. She's also sitting on a bench with a white poster that says Last Beatles Song. The name of the song is Now and Then, and the lyrics are, I know it's true, it's all because of you, and if I make it through, it's all because of you. Making it through is getting through the hole in the wall to the divine feminine, breaking the barrier between the male and the female. And now and then, if we must start again, well, we will know for sure that I love you. Now and then, I miss you. Oh, now and then, I need you to be there for me. Always return to me. I know it's true. It's all because of you. And if you go away, I know you'll never stay. If you remember my decodes on Don't Worry Darling, I made a video specifically on all of the music that was in the film because all the songs are about this very same subject because everything here is about this subject. It's about the division and reunification of the feminine from the masculine. What they're talking about here is about the two worlds coming together, but also if they separate again, then they will find each other again because the story just keeps continuing and continuing unless the story comes to an end. And he said, he, the first thing out of his mouth was, is everyone okay? Did I hit someone? Was he in a daze? What, what did he tell you? He told me, he said he didn't know uh, what happened at that point. Uh, he was still, again, worried about everybody else. And I told him, look, well, I'm going to worry about everybody else, but what, are you okay again? And he goes, I don't know what happened. The posters surrounding the event are quite interesting. This one says titanium, a reference to the titans. The Titans are coming back. Yes. This one says mosaic. Mosaic means putting the pieces together.
What do we have to it do? Hit, it hit the main. The man mentioned that the truck hit the water main. The water main is the cerebrospinal fluid, which is also the semen or the seed. It hit the main water. The driver of the truck is Succession star Alan Ruck who also happens to be connected to one of the most famous car crashes in movie history. This scene from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Well, Mike, thankfully, no one was critically hurt in this pizza place. Pizza place is the PP, the power pole, the central vortex. Pizza is pie. Pie is mercury. That's a handicapped restroom back there. Handicapped is also crippled which refers back to the shooting decode that I did the other day. And that is a penitent man may pass when you are on your knees, unable to walk. And then you've got the other restroom there to the left, obviously completely destroyed and just really thankful that, you know, nobody was injured uh, seriously or even in that bathroom. The initial photographs of the ladies room were in the dark and now it's illuminated. It's in light. Also interesting is there's a sign on the side that says restroom and it has a man and a woman with a line separating the two, which is representative of the male divided from the female. However, the media has referred to this as the ladies room. When the car came crashing through, I want to show you that security video again, kind of paints a better picture of what happened here. You see the truck we've highlighted it there it comes through the intersection, colliding with the four other vehicles before he then goes into the wall there, hitting the uh, outside of the restaurant. Now, this was the scene from SkyCal when they were overhead yesterday. You can see kind of a really big response here. Anytime a car goes into a building, uh, prompts a real large response from the fire department, including their urban search and rescue team, their heavy response trucks. Uh, all of this happening already in a very busy part of the night here with the West Hollywood Carnival not too far away. Now they mentioned the West Hollywood Carnival not being too far away because the carnival is the circus in which we live, the big top, and it's West, West Hollywood. West is the world in which we live and we have to join with the East. So it's the left hemisphere of the brain joining with the right hemisphere of the brain. Uh, while the owner was showing us the damage, we got a chance to talk to him about just what went through his mind when this all happened. This additional footage is not news footage, but it was taken at the scene and you can see the water from the water main, the cerebral spinal fluid or the seed is leaking onto the street, which is fertilizing the ground or the earth. This happened at La Brea and Hollywood and La Brea means tar. Tar is referring to the divine feminine, which is fertile ground. So the masculine and the feminine are creating a new world. This fire truck is number 88 for the 88 Lions Gate. So that's the Kundalini connection. Obviously they are emergency vehicles, which is the Emerge and C, the 911, the IXXI, which is Christ. Hollywood is our fake world and La Brea is the divine feminine. So the intersection of the two worlds coming together. And here we have the sign with a red hand that says stop and multiple number sevens, 1600, one and six is seven, 21 seven, which is four sevens. You also have the M for the mother or maternal or matter magnetism. And then you have a sign that says internet access, color TV, phone, movie, and HBO. HBO links back to the TV show, which is Succession. Notice too, TV, phone, internet access, all of this has to do with electric communication. We live in the world of electricity. And the one thing that's crossed out is jacuzzi, which is where Matthew Perry was found when he died the other day, two days before this event happened. This is the back to the future moment. The moment when the son becomes independent from the father, he goes back in time, repairs the relationship between mother and father, comes back to the future and is liberated. Is liberated from time, is liberated from the bonds of Saturn. This is what is meant by succession. That's why Alan Ruck is on the show, Succession. <laughs>